Hey everyone, this is today's news for Tomorrow's Investor. I'm Natalie Stoberman from Today's Stocks. Here are this week's headlines. Madison Metals has announced a binding letter of intent with Otijwa Mining and Prospecting for 85% interest in a pair of mining licenses in Africa. Both licenses are located in Namibia's Orongo Uranium Province, where Madison Metals already holds rights to an exclusive mining license. The agreement will make Madison Metals consolidate ownership of land holdings with the goal to expand mineable uranium resources with new zones and discoveries. Manning Ventures has announced a follow-up exploration program at its James Bay Bounty Lithium project in northern Quebec. The 7,500 hectare project started its first sampling recon program back in May and will begin this next phase in early October. And on top of that, Manning Ventures has also announced that it has acquired 100% in the Dipole Lithium project, where Manning says that it plans to aggressively assess the lithium or tungsten potential. Satori Resources is gearing up for its fall drilling campaign at the Tartan Lake project. The company says that it plans on testing the hanging wall zone to extend the mineralization, and Satori says that this intercept is the second highest value of lithology, and this campaign could potentially present a new drill zone in the hanging wall. iMetal Resources has mobilized a new drill rig for its Gauganda West drilling campaign. This gold project is in its exploration stage, with the fall drilling campaign expected to follow up on long gold intervals from its 2019 maiden drill program, as well as further evaluating other gold targets. Greycliff Exploration has intersected gold at its Shakespeare project. In the fourth phase of drilling, Greycliff says that it intersected 9 meters of gold. In phase 4 assay results focused on testing the boundaries of the mineralized zone along strike and at depth. Chatham Rock Phosphate has released results from its initial testing of Corella Phosphate. Chatham Rock says the sensor-based ore testing has shown positive results. And the company says it engaged Tomra sorting to ensure that Corella phosphate ore could be sorted from waste material and could improve the already high grade direct shipping ore. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. Now this is not financial advice, but you can check out our page and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. See you next week.